go here. It looks good to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's go here. Yeah, it's going to be a fun event. Let's play C6. Let's take a knight F6, I guess. Looks fine. I guess we'll take with a pawn and castle here. Oh, uh, Levy is not playing title Tuesday, I don't believe. Um, anyway, I can play here knight B6. I'm just going to play very slow, very sort of non-standard. Let's go. Actually, no, let's go here. Okay, let's go B5 maybe. If A4, I'm going to take and go knight B6, maybe bishop G4 at the right moment. I don't, I don't love my position out of the opening, but I think it's playable at least. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go knight D5, maybe try to trade some bishops here. Plays bishop H6. I can obviously trade and go knight B4. I can also take and go bishop F5. Um, I don't necessarily want to trade, but I might not have many other good options. Let's think for a second. Hmm. I can also play A5. Let's go a5 and just take with the king. Thank you to ND45 for the prime, the revered man for the tier one, big poo poo head for the three. Thank you to Q for the six. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Vilwanisawa for the 11 months. Thank you once again. All right, so we're playing title Tuesday, $750 first prize. Um, and we, we we try to play our best. How am I? I'm doing pretty well this morning. I'm feeling pretty good. Good day. Thank you to Gildroy for the gifted sub. Thank you to Matter Horror for the five gifted as well. Thank you so much to Matter Horror. Um, okay, he goes rook a3. Probably a pretty logical move. I can play rook b8 here. And I think I will do it to hit the pawn on b2. Was I able to warm up at all? Not really. Oh, we'll do Reddit React later, you guys. I forgot to do Reddit React yesterday, so we're going to be covering it later. Yeah, we're all we're all playing today. It's uh it's it's Arena Kings fun event. Um 750 first prize. Okay, he plays B3, which maybe is a good move. I actually for some reason didn't realize it was a move. Maybe I go knight before. I don't like my position at all, but I'm gonna try to make the most out of it. Okay, he goes there. I go here because I have knight c2. Goes bishop d1. That's a good move, actually. Uh, do I have c5 and cd4? I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it works, but it looks reasonable at least. He can't take as the ice skater. If c3, I go knight c6. So I take. I mean, he can sack and I get a tower of power, but I don't think there are problems if he takes. I take, take, and there's an ice skater on e1. Thank you to zero vector for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. plays h3 i think i should go knight c6 target the rook guard the pawn i mean i'll pre-move it because it's a safe capture he goes knight h4 i expect him to do this i don't think this is actually winning for white oddly enough well i have rookie five let's let's be careful let's go here okay now i'm going to re reroute my knight around and my rook is pretty decent here i think that's oh i thought that was a blunder maybe it's not I can also do a weird double stack laterally. Knight g6 takes king h8, queen g4. I don't know if it's winning. Um, I can also just play d3, I guess. One. Actually, what's wrong with just d3? Hmm. Let's think for a second. I don't want to mess this up. I can also just go like... And then rook d1, knight g6. Yeah, I think this is okay, though, because I have knight g6 next move. Is there a tactic? I go knight g6. What's his move? He takes. I take. He goes here. I go f4. I should be winning because I'm able to untriple my stack. Although I might even just for the memes, I might capture with the h pawn. And then I'm gonna capture with the h pawn for the memes. Because we don't normally get this structure, where you have like triple pawns that are actually very good. Queen g3 loses to f4 here, so he has to take, and then I take. I'm gonna take with the h pawn for the memes. I mean, this is a very weird structure. You don't normally get a triple stack with like, it's like very well connected here. Everything's just really connected. It's, I don't even know what you call this. Can I do a quad stack? Could I get his queen on, queen on, uh, could I win his queen on F4? That would be the dream. It's kind of hard to get a, I can't quite get it. Maybe if I, you know what? 
I'm still winning, so let's as long as I'm careful and I don't get too stupid here, this this will work. Let's let's try to let's try to get a quad, but I I don't think I'm gonna get a quad stack here. It's not a utility pull either, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the quad stack. Um Pegas. I think G4 is actually winning, but I, I don't I don't really want to mess around. So I'm just gonna go here. It's a T? Oh yeah, this is this is the T, right? It's the the T. Okay, now I'm definitely winning here. I just have to be careful how, with how I play it. I'm just gonna go here. Let's go here. Probably D3 at some moment as well. If H4, I go G4, obviously. It's B4. Okay, let's let's start going with a pass pawn now. He takes, I take back. And now I think he just loses. Maybe he'll play Queen F4 for fun. That would be pretty nice. Don't think it's gonna happen, but that'd be nice. Anyway, we got the win. Um, not a great game, but it's, it's, it's a good one. Yeah, this would have, this would have been beautiful. I don't think I've ever gotten a quad stack in a game, but oh, well, it also could have been pretty weird. Cause I guess, I guess theoretically I could have gotten something weird like this where everything is like, I, I, it's like everything's in some kind of weird, like, I don't know what you call this. It's like a, um, I don't know. It's like a square or something. I, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, um, it's, it, it was, it's a good one. Thank you to M. Caleb for the prime frog dog with the prime. Chris Duffy for the uh, 16 months. Thank you to Arnie for the 22. Um, Tim Cannon Poker for the 10. DRZ for the 421. Thank you so much. Hey, buddy. Hopefully you know the Poker st poker Legend Ape Styles. Super nice, great guy, and good chess player. Hope you guys take him into consideration for upcoming poker tournament. I am familiar with Ape Styles. I actually knew he played chess many years ago. I think when I was playing poker on Poker Stars, um, I had heard of him. But I think he's like 1900, if I'm not mistaken. It's a sliding block. I don't know. Anyway, um, we got the dub. Pretty good stuff. One out of one. Let's watch Ali Reza, because apparently he's still playing. Ali Reza is losing? What? Wait, what? King D8? Oh, my. Wait, what is going on? He's losing? I mean, if, I mean, maybe he finds a way, but... Rook C8? I mean, D8? Or G5? I mean, the guy's thinking too long. I think Ali Reza is going to find some way to win this now. Um, rook b4. I guess h. Yeah, g4 though. G4 wins. G4. <gasps> g4 and f3 was game over. F3 maybe. Okay, the guy's too slow though. F2. King d8. Timing is a little bit odd. I'm not going to lie. The usage, the time usage. King e7. The time usage is very suspect. B2. Takes. Check. Rook b2. Rook b2. Takes, I guess. Wow, it's a draw. Strange game. Very strange game. Anyway, I guess it ends in a draw. I mean, you know what's funny is Ali Reza was actually losing even here at the end. If his opponent goes G3, this wins because takes G2 wins. And you can't stop the pawns. Um, anyway, game ends in a draw. Uh, also, you guys, today, of course, is the birthday of the late Bobby Fischer, March 9th. Um, I, I, I had forgotten about that. Today, he would have been, I believe, 79? 78 or 79. Um, but yeah, he, he would have been... Um, he would have been it would have been his birthday. Okay, what's going on here? White is just up a juicer. Should be clean the winning knight f3. He got plus 14, which means the account is new. Oh, that's true. You're right. True. Good point. It was 78. Okay, yeah. And now you run the king to h3 and you go knight h4. Run the king up this way. Knight c6. All right, King g6, I guess, and it's just winning.
Maybe rook f6, g5. I mean, this is going to be a, a... This game should be over pretty soon. Although, actually, wait. White is 2450, I just realized. Do I think Bobby would have been a good streamer? Um, no. No, I do not think Bobby would have been a good streamer. <laughs> but that's a good joke. Good joke, you guys. <laughs> it would have been canceled for sure. No kidding. He w w well, he would have been a large ego streamer. Yeah, I mean, Bobby, I don't think was someone who um, I think he was someone who thought he was uh, was was just a genius. If I'm being honest, literally un incapable of listening to anything other people said. Okay, so Rook H8 is checkmate here. I guess this game still isn't over yet. Okay, G7. Finally, we're going to have an end. Wait, how did White lose his queen? Okay. Okay, now you got mate. Okay. Very weird. Very, very weird. I never played Bobby. No, no. Okay, round two is coming up. Okay, fancy item. Let's go knight of three. Thank you to Marhashi for the prime. And th thank you to Mania Tricks for tier one as well. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go here in C4. Bobby XQC Cloud would have been pure entertainment. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe it would have been two people just screaming at each other nonstop. <laughs> there is that possibility. Let's go here and just f4. Let's castle and play f4. <laughs> he probably plays a6, and then I, I mean, this is a very old line. Okay, I think I'm just gonna play f4 this time. Maybe I just take. Actually, I'm gonna go knight e2 and maybe bishop d2 to keep it a little bit more simple. Who is this exactly? Oh, do I have the, oh, I have the, I have, I have the, oh, wait, but it says after spending 60 seconds. I didn't spend 60 seconds there. I didn't spend 60 seconds. Why did it, why did it go off? One second. Um, wait, if I take, I have, ch wait, wait a second. I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing something. Cause takes, I have check. Takes, I have check. He can take. Turn it off, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll just... Um... Yeah, I'll just get rid of it for now. I just removed it. Okay. Not bishop d5, obviously. I can take with the f-pawn and go knight f4. This is actually should be quite bad for my opponent, but I'm not sure that I'm... Let's just go here, and I guess I'll just take... He takes, and I guess I take and take and go here. Let's take. He has queen b2, but I figure after bishop c3, I get a big diagonal. I saw that move, but first of all, I can check. Second of all, I can go queen c2. Queen b3 is a move. I think I'm just going to go here, though, and play like bishop c3 and rook f1. And this should be very pleasant for me. Whoa, thank you to, um, let's go, uh, let's go here. Thank you to, uh, Eminor for the three months. Thank you to Will, Will Orr for the five gifts. Pandarius for the prime. I Ray Frey for the prime. I can play a three. I feel like I'm doing so well here somehow. Maybe I just, let's go check. Who's there? I think I have Rook F1. Oh, then he's got Rook F8. Okay, let's go here then. Knight E6 is a big threat now. He can't go here because if he goes Knight E5, I just take, take, take. Thank you to Ace Cuber for the prime. Thank you so much to Ace Cuber. Appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe Knight G3 is better to go both ways, but this this should be good too because I have this jump. Not really clear. 
Rook F1 was actually... Why didn't I go Rook F1? That might have made much more sense. Anyway, I should be doing very well here. My position is pretty good. I've got a great diagonal. He's got a bad bishop. I've got all kinds of threats. He goes Rook D7. I have Knight E6 here. I have Knight H5. Should after Knight E6, what is his move? C4, I just take. Knight A5 is no good. I think this is just good. So C4, I just eat it. I'm threatening to take. Actually, this is very bad because basically what happens is I've got a great op with a knight and a queen targeting the diagonals, and he's got a very bad bishop. His bishop has nothing going on. Read on my poker face. He goes h6. I think I just take with the bishop or the knight. Wait, I think I just take with the knight. Keep the keep the fossils alive here. I have knight of five. Knight h5, knight e5 is not clean, although it should be winning. Knight of three. Yeah, let's just go here. Have Rook F1 next move, or at least that's my idea. Well, that's not a good move. Okay, he's trying to go over something, but I mean, he's just down too much material here. Because I go Queen E6 next move. He goes Queen E5, which is actually a good move. Somehow I feel like I've misplayed this a little bit. Wait a second. It's not trivial. Okay, wait, let's go here. Rook F1 is a move. This is actually quite tricky. Wait a second. Wait, this is not obvious at all. Check, check, check. Okay. Let's go here. But this is checkmate. It's just checkmate. This is what I was just calculating. It's just a force mate. And mate. Okay, we got the win. Thank you to Dilaraka for the prime Ramden. That's what I was calculating in my head when I um when I played when I when I when I played Rook F one was basically I was just making sure that when he grabs the juicer um on B four it's a forced checkmate. Because if you go to H eight, I go check, and then either square you go to, I go checkmate with the knight and the queen. Um and then when you go this way, I check. Obviously, corner, same thing. You go this way and then check and, and classic checkmate with the knight and the queen. Thank you, Megalo, for the tier one. Thank you so much to Megalo. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you to uh, Vikes for the 21 months. Thank you so much. Good luck today. What do you think? What do I think Fisher's diagnosis would be if he was around today? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're off to a good start. Two out of two so far. Um, uh, two more to go until we hit our first break, but we keep going. Need a UKEX for the Prime. Thank you so much, UKEX. Appreciate it. Thank you. Would Gary make a good streamer? Um, modern day Gary might be an might be a decent streamer. I mean, G Gary Gary during his playing days would not make a good streamer, but modern day Gary probably could could be pretty amusing. I mean, the stories that Gary has probably, they, they go on forever. Um, so maybe. Thank you to Gudo for the Prime Day, LEWK for the four months. I do think Yasser should stream, but I think the thing with Yasser streaming, um, like, like Yasser's that guy. He's like, he's, he's the guy who's like, you know, has, who's, has, it's like when you're, when you're at the lodge, you know, when you're at the, the chalet in Switzerland and, you know, it's like you're, you're by the fire after you've been out all day skiing. He's the guy who has like all those, like the great stories from like, you know, 1847, um so so yasser would be great it would be great at telling uh telling stories i don't know if that makes sense i don't know why i was talking about switzerland and chalets but anyway whatever um okay yeah 
All right, thank you to thank you to Scout Stream for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Would I encourage other big chess players to use Twitch as a stream platform for them to use? I think it's a, I think it's good. I think you know when I look at a lot of people have been talking like about Ali Reza. Um, <laughs> A lot of people are talking about Ali Reza and um, and how like they say like you know making money from streaming whether that's going to affect him and like his progression as a chess player um, and I, I would say that basically I think that when you have uh, when you have so much support from from your community it actually makes it easier uh, and it provides a lot more motivation. They need a green goal for the nine months. Thank you to DH Koo for the for the gift itself. But I would say one thing that's that though I think is very tricky is that um streaming requires a, a really crazy work ethic. It requires a grind. Um it requires kind of like a grind that um that is very different from the chess grind in many ways. So that's one thing I would say that it's not easy to to just show up for like seven hours every single day um and stream. Thank you to MJMG James for the Prime. Thank you to Blink Poker for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Uh, we will be covering the match tomorrow um, between Levy and um, Roberto, Roberto, Roberto JP Molina, as I think is his name. I'm um, going to be covering that tomorrow. I think Levy can win. I, I, again, I feel like Levy's issues are always going to be in the openings and in the 5 one 3 one He should be the favorite and bullet eric's not doing so great um i i haven't been following i usually just see the top of the table oh, let's play the Karo Khan. i don't know if it's right but okay i'll just take a center let's play this like 960 chess oh really what's going on here if i take and go here i don't actually know if this is good but it looks kind of interesting goes queen e2 i think i can just play 97 oh does he have some 94 nonsense oh i might have blundered queen e7 94 could be really problematic oh this might actually be just bad for me somehow shoot i might have blunt okay let's go here and hope but now i have check and takes what's going on wait a second queen a5 bishop d2 bishop b5 takes 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 no okay queen a5 bishop d2 queen b5 this looks bad. Actually, this looks really bad. Maybe I just go bishop g4. I always have a check, but she six ninety five knight of six. I think I actually kind of have to go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go here. I'm gonna go knight f six. I'm gonna gambit a pawn and play rook b eight. And I, I hope it's good enough. It might not be, but I've got to try. Okay, he goes b4. Wow, maybe that's a good move. Maybe that's actually just winning somehow. Seriously? I might just be lost out of this opening? Unbelievable. What the fridge is this? got knight f5 and I just lose or something I have to try something here I'm just losing it's insane it's unbelievable Go here, 96. I mean, obviously, it's very bad, but I just have to keep playing and hoping. Go here. 
guess I go here and I mean, it's just so bad. I mean, you can take a pawn. I mean, the only thing is that maybe I have some way to salvage this. He's also got this first. I mean, if I get rook b8, rook b4, maybe. I have to play on the clock, though. I mean, if I get rook b1, may, or I don't even have rook c1. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I, I mean, why did the guy take a draw there exactly? I mean, he just goes a5, or he goes rook d6, and he's just winning on the spot. Why did he repeat? Yeah, okay. Um <laughs> I mean, why did, why did he repeat there? He's winning like he's winning 20 different ways. Literally any other move is winning for White. Thank you Vic Silence. I mean, the guy makes a draw here, but then then in the opening he finds like he finds all these this like bishop b5 queen 2, he finds his b4 idea like and then he makes a draw in the completely winning position. <laughs> okay. I mean like the the guy finds b4, which is which is a great move, by the way. It's it's a fantastic move and it's winning for white, but then at the end when he's completely winning, he just makes a repetition. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's watch let's watch um Artemio's game. Uh, G f Wait, was this a slip? Did he mean it? Did he just mouse slip? I think he meant to take the pawn. He just slipped. I guess White can still take and take F4, though, maybe? Thank you to R. Sheldon for the prime. Ali Terra for the prime. Two second lead syndrome with the tier one. Thank you to Liquid as well for the prime. What's going on here? Is there some tactic? Oh, you take, you take on E6. Still very complicated. Is there knight g8? Wait, knight g8 should be winning for black, it looks like. This is why he should have taken on f4 earlier, too. Knight h6, knight knight e8, and black sub a piece. Probably knight d4 is good for black here. King f2 and then just f5 or g5, something like this. Should be winning. Although the knight's really bad on h6. Maybe you have to reroute. Okay, bishop e6. Actually, that's a good move by Artemio. Because now it takes, you can just take with the rook. Oh, it takes and rook e4. Did I buy Tesla in the dip? No, I did not buy Tesla. I was looking at a call spread on Tesla yesterday, actually. But I didn't do anything. Somehow this got... Wait, well, what just happened? Wait, Artemiev didn't take on e4 and win the game. Very weird. He's going to win the rook c5, and the rook b5, and now... Yeah, rook b7. Thank you to Bound for Sarn for the 9, Gunner to Boss for the 2, Zanelius for the 2. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I don't get how Ikar's bed is a bed. Please, someone explain. You just unfold it, and it becomes a bed. Anyway, we keep going. Round four coming up in a second. Let's watch Jan's game. He's still going. Jan is not winning. C7, Queen C2. This is a draw, actually. 
takes an f2 and king g3 this is a draw king g3 what how do you play f1 king g3 is a theoretical draw how do you not go king g3 this is just a theoretical draw with the queen with the f pawn what on earth was that how do you queen you just go king g3 and it's just a dead draw i mean it's a draw because it's the wrong color pawn so when you go here you go here this is a theoretical draw because when white checks you go in the corner if you capture it's stalemate and if you check there's just no way there's no way to stop black from queening so it's just a theoretical draw very weird how do you make a queen on f1 there i literally don't understand that so bizarre Okay, let's watch Renato. Renato wins his game against uh, Yamoy. You and Ali Reza said the exact same thing at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's so obvious. Like, all, you, you literally take, like, half a second, and you realize that it's just no good. That's, that's, all, that's all you have to do. Okay, what else do we have? We have Hushimbeth versus Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan is losing. One of the few defeats he's going to suffer in his career, it looks like. Maybe Queen E6 and King A8. Maybe King C6 here. D block. B7. Block. Time! <laughs> how do you flag here with white i mean how do you flag here there's like no way to flag you just pre-move the queen i mean it's like when you play bishop b5 there's just there's like there's no way you pre-move the queen and then you you hover to capture whichever whichever one of these like three three squares it goes to so you pre-move the queen and then you hover with your queen over one of the other squares like I don't know how you don't win that. Thank you to Blundering PhD for the 24 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So bad by, by Hushin Beth. It's just so bad. Trying to win. Can you please tell me that the camera, the, the can't tell me and the camera that the F program is better than the X program. Okay. Oh yeah, I know that Hushin Beth is a strong player, but I mean that's just bad. That's just bad. He just needs better, better sensitivity, better DPI. That's just not good. Not good. Plane of flight is my life for the three. Uh Magsy Bokes for 13. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. There's an issue with pre-moving pre-moving promotions on Android. If you're playing Title Tuesday, if you're playing Title Tuesday on, on, on your phone, then like you don't deserve to win, honestly. Because that means you're not taking it seriously enough. Just being honest. If you're playing if you're playing it on your phone with like a $750 prize fund, you're not taking it seriously enough. Daniel actually did come close, right? He finished in second or something when he with the one time that he tried it, but but yeah, but Daniel did it one time, one time. Yeah, I mean, clicking moves on a phone is so much easier. No, it's I mean, in the scrambles you're going to lose. You're you're going to lose though. You're you're going to lose if if you if you play if you play on a phone and you get into a time scramble, you're generally going to lose. Oh, he's on his laptop on a plane. Okay, he was on a laptop, not on not on his phone. Okay. Thank you to Pinduka official for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Pinduka. Thank you. Okay, round four coming up. Okay, let's just go here. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Thank you, Proto Slash for three. Again, it's not great to draw early, but Ali Rez and I both have done the done the draw gambit. So let's just play E four, play Sicilian. Let's play C three, play more Alipins. I was gonna do this one. Uh, so I'm gonna play ninety two, ninety four. I guess. Let's go here. Queen C7, I can obviously take. I don't really want to take, but I guess I have to, kind of. I guess I just go here and Rook C1, maybe. I can also take if I want to. I don't really love it, though. 
Okay, he plays a. I'm just gonna take. Let's just play. It's an isolated pawn, but I have two bishops, and long term the op should play. Let's go here. Put my rooks on the ideal squares. Probably gonna try to line up a batter at some point. How do I do that though? 95 is obviously a move. I think it's a good move too. Yeah, let's just do it. Because if he takes, I take with the pawn. And if he doesn't take, I'm going to take the bishop probably. Okay, let's take, of course. Now, again, I have the double op combo lining up towards his king. Do I have input into Chess Life magazine? No, I don't. Why would I have any input? It's the national magazine. I play chess. I'm a chess player, but, like, why would I have any input? I can go queen g4 here, but does it work? f5 takes, takes, queen e6 trade. Rook e3, rook e3, rook e3. I think it works. I'm going to play it. Takes, 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 takes. So I have bishop c4 to line up, line up all kinds of fossils. Thank you to Mark, Mark, uh, Mark Windler for the three months. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to pre-move it. Thank you to Woa1990 for the six months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Right, but I, I don't think this works. So I take and I take. I mean, maybe it's this or something, but he's going to go rook d8, and then I thought bishop c4 was fine. The op should play here. I mean, let's see. I have rook d8. I go here. Takes, takes. Okay, it does go bishop d5, which is a good move. Um, very slightly problematic. So I'm going to have to just drop back and play this position. It's going to be a two bishops versus a bishop and knight end game. Not fabulous. Let's go here. Hit the pawn on a7. Should be better, though, because I always have rook a1 to hit capture now because my bishops aren't aren't stacked like oh it goes a6 which actually is a good move i forgot that was playable okay let's see i can play g3 i think f3 is probably better though just to take the center of the board a little bit okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna drop a bishop out of the line of fire because i can use my ops from distance here um not thrilled by my play, but I, I always have check, I guess. I'm back. Hmm. Okay, so the way that I win this game probably is I have to bring my king in slowly. I just have to bring the king in very slowly here. Bring uh, Let's bring the king in. I can always go g4, h4. I think I'm going to play h4 for starters. He goes h5, which I think is actually a little bit of a mistake. Because now I get a plant. The pawn supports a bishop, and he can never remove it. So I get a bastion, but with a bishop, basically. Let's go here, maybe. I'm trying to develop this bishop. This bishop's not great. Okay, let's go. Let's just develop the bishop. I think I'm going to go here. He has rook c7, maybe. Well, the trades in king e3, I mean, maybe it's a draw with correct play, but I feel like I'm better there's knight of six let's go here target the pawn from behind i think i'm gonna somehow have to bring my bishop in how do i do this exactly let's go here gotta move a little bit quicker i feel like let's go here hmm let's go here maybe and king d4 and run the king in actually he's got that which i forgot about shoot okay let's go here i guess Go here. It's got checking here. I have to be very careful. Maybe knight six. I have rook h8 though. Okay, I go this way obviously. Let's go here. Knight c2. King here. He goes there, but now I can go here and rook h7. Because now I also have bishop c3 if he tries to come over. 
Let's go here, I guess. I want to go rook h7, maybe g4 at some moment also, but I have to be very careful with how I play this. King e6, which I think is a mistake. Not a mistake, but... Or is it a mistake? It's almost a mistake. Actually, now let's just go. Let's try to open up the center and create pass pawns. Now I go h5, just start to open up. This h pawn is very dangerous. I have bishop g4 now. He just survives barely. King d6. Wait, no, he doesn't survive. No, he doesn't survive. Because here I have a check. So he has to go over. But now I take and now I go like. Wait, where's my bishop? It's on here. So I go here. Knight g6, h7 should be winning. Oh, no, I blundered. takes this should be winning for me with the two bishops but i might have to show some extreme technique here okay that's definitely a mistake and now now i just win this guy played well good game i think i can just take again it's, i can put everything on dark so my bishop can just hold from distance let's go check let's go check let's go check and let's take He resigns. Yeah, he could have made me mate with the two bishops, but um, but anyway, we got the dub. Thank you to Homage for the five. Thank you to Blocked by James for the prime. The Kelleher for the prime. Not so Saint Nick for the prime. Autumn Fleelet for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Tough game. Tough game, but we got the dub. Um, let's watch Jan's game. This should be a draw with correct play. But, I mean, Iturizaga's got no time. Queen e4. Queen c5, I guess. Queen e2. Takes. Is this a draw? Wait. Is this a draw or not? King f2. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. This isn't a draw, is it? King h. No, this isn't a draw. What? What did Turizaga do? He just blundered this. King g2 and black wins. Very, very weird by Turizaga. Yeah, just king g3. Way too slow. Way too slow. Very strange game. Actually, wait. Why did he go out? Was, was it winning here? Wait, when he went f5. Wait, why was this? Wait, actually, this king f2 was just a draw. I, or wait, was it? Because here, 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 here. Here and black wins. So no, it wasn't a draw. Once he traded the queens, but he should have just gone king f two, king f three, and, and and made a draw easily. But he had no time. I mean, he had no time. Man, every time we come to your stream, you always play lower rated players. You scared to play someone at your rating or higher? <laughs> Good joke, man. Good troll. Good one. Oh, that's right. Now's a break, right? Oh, uh, this is the break. So all right, you guys, I'm gonna take a short break. I will be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. Thank you to my abomination for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, so we are on three and a half out of four, half point out of first place right now. Um, so we're on the short little break at the moment. So, yeah. Thank you to uh, Recreate for the tier one. Yeah, I'm just eating my, uh, my breakfast, like, I just have a croissant with some, some like turkey and cheese. So yeah, do I buy my cro croissants in France? Good one. Yeah, just like yeah. Oh, we'll have Reddit, Reddit react later on today. Uh, someone said, did I have that yesterday? Yeah, I did. I I mean, I usually eat the same thing for breakfast. I'm a very boring guy with a similar, I'm sorry, not similar with the uh, like same, same thing. Like I could eat, I could eat cereal every day for like 
two months in a row for breakfast. Like, why not? So, yeah. It's only a croissant if it comes from France. Otherwise, it's called sparkling bread. Mm -hmm. Totally. Good one. Uh, right now, no, I'm on three and a half out of four. Ali Reza also on three and a half out of four. I can eat spaghetti every day. You know, when I first came out to California, that's what I was doing. I was literally eating spaghetti for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but yeah, when, when I first came to uh, when I first came to California, I was literally was doing that. I was eating um, I was eating like spaghetti for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you guys are asking me, um, why did I come to California, not Texas? Um, cause it wasn't a tax issue. It had nothing to do with taxes. That's why. Also, I'd argue like when people talk about Texas and you, it's like you, you talk about Texas and what happened, like there's a reason that happened. Um, so yeah. Property tax in Texas also will completely like make your life impossible as well. Just, just to be clear. Anyway, um, no, CA has power issues, but you, you're not gonna have a power outage for days on end. And, and also Texas, because of their, like, not to be political, but because of their whole thing about like, we want independence. We hate the federal government, all this nonsense. Like there's a reason that these issues happen, you know, if, if they've been part of if they've been part of the grid, this would not have happened. But because it's like, oh, the federal government, they're going to take everything from us, you know, all this paranoia and nonsense. Like that's the reason it happened. But like, but like, when everything goes wrong, you better believe they're going right back to the federal government and asking for help. So like, I'm sorry, but it's you know, it's not right. <laughs> I mean. It's, it's true. I mean, it is. I'm sorry, but that, that is true. Oh, God. Oh, what? I get Gata on three and a half out of four? Are you kidding me? Really? Man, this is going to be... Okay, what do I do? I mean, the, I can't really afford to be solid and draw here, so I have to. I'm going to have to go for broke with something random. This is a terrible pairing for round four. This is like around five. Like this is a terrible pairing. If it was like round seven or round eight, it would be reasonable. But in round five to play Gata, oh, it's a terrible pairing. Mainly, be mainly because like I, I'm not on four out of four. If I was on three out of three, it would be it would be fine. But on four out of four, plays H four. Okay, he's doing this one. This one I think, be very careful. Is it C six? I know this is not great for white, but I, I don't remember why. I think it's here, though, because I can take. Okay, does this. I'll play C6, maybe D5. Not sure. I have the same amount of points as Ferusha. It could be worse. That's true, I guess. And hey, at least I have a croissant. Please don't get political. I love you for your chest stream. I'd rather not know your political views. I will talk about politics how I want to. Um, so it's my stream, not yours, dude. That's the first thing I will say. Um, secondly, just because I say one thing and you're probably you're probably Republican doesn't mean that all my views are far left. So chill out, dude. Let's go here and play Bishop E6.
If I go h6, he has bishop c5, then queen d7. Not clear. I can also play b6, h6, maybe. Let me think, though. Gotta actually let this become a little bit messy. Okay, so h6, bishop c5, queen d7, knight f3. I think I'm going to play b6. It doesn't look right. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I feel like I'm going to be able to close the center with e4. So I'm not really worried about this weakness. And I have to stop bishop c5 tricks. Thank you, Scrappy Dappy Do. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, TCS, for the tier one. Please, queen a3. I can play h6. God is really playing something that's very dry. This is really, really dry. We'll go here and take. Thank you, Chris John for the gift of sub. Thank you, TCTS, for the gift of sub as well. Thank you so much. Go here, hit the bishop, e4 maybe. Not thrilled by this, but I think it's fine. I mean, I guess he goes knight h2 and tries to just admit that he's very slightly worse, or, or not. Um, I can play c5 here. I can also just go bishop. Actually, I kind of like bishop e5 to hit the pawn, so he can't push. I can always go c5 at the right moment, too, to lever the knight. Actually, maybe I should have just gone c5 right away. Okay, he goes bishop f4. Logical move. I can still play c5 here. If I take and play c5, knight b5, knight a6, I don't love it. He's got h5 then too. I'm somehow I'm down on time, so I better just move before I before I blunder this all away. Let's go here, I guess. And take with the knight. Just so so dry, so hard to win. Let's just go here and knight h5, maybe. I do have bishop d5 also at the right moment. Um, let's just go, I guess I'll go here on bishop e6. Maybe I'll take, actually that was a bat. Okay, let's go, let's go here to force e3. And now I guess I go like here to hit the pawn. It goes b3. I can play a6, b5 here at some point. Actually, I think I should just reroute my knight though. What am I doing? I'm moving way too slowly here, I realize. Just go. <clears throat> Want to go? Okay, I just got to move. I'm I'm moving way too slowly. Just don't don't blunder. I don't even know if h5 is right. I don't think it was, but It was ninety six. There's just nothing I I can do here. It just problem is the draw is not good enough here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play on even though I shouldn't because like I, I draw is just not gonna get it done. Go here and take I guess. Did I just blunder? I think I just blundered. I'm going to gamble. Let's go for it. Let's see. It's just a draw anyway. <laughs> it's just a draw no matter what I do. This is so frustrating. Uh, let's Let's go for it. I'm sure this is no good, but let's go for it.
I'm going to start pushing. Why did I do that? That was stupid. I'm going to just go for it, G3. I think I'm winning here. Check. Oh no, it's still not over. It's still not over. He's he has a fork. I have to be careful. Now I win. Okay. Wow, what a win. What a win. I don't even know if that was right, but I felt like a you know a draw was not going to get it done there. Thank you. To, if I was on four out of four, I would have taken a draw. But since I had given up a half point, I didn't feel like I could. Thank you to the only lonely for the prime, Scrappy Dabby do with the prime Latou, Lazy A Hagen for the fort. I don't know if what I did was right, but I made it look right, as someone just said. Night G two was winning on move forty seven. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there were many ways to win here. Like, Night G2 is winning, but I don't know. Somehow I just trusted that this was right. And it probably is not right, but I, it looked it looked okay. Because the, the pawns are just too fast here. Like, here I take in here. Actually, let me do the live analysis. Let's see. What's what's the actual analysis of this? Whoa, thank you, Chess Bay, for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Chess Bay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wait, why is it not right here? One second. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know if this was right, but let's see. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, uh, 94 is best. Okay, this is best. Wow. Okay. King C2 is... Wow, computer says this is zeros. Okay, very hard to know, but um, okay here. Oh, knight g two wins here because I can just reroute the knight. Apparently, okay, whatever. E three is best, and then g four is a big mistake. Oh, you know what it is? Yes, because actually, God, I had the right order, but the wrong idea. He can go knight d four here, and he's winning. Or no, he's not winning. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, I have three pawns. Is this winning or not? I mean, I... I mean, I guess this is winning. This is very dank. Very dank. Yeah. Anyway, what, what happened? So, I, he went here. Oh, I should just move my rook, okay, but yeah, okay. Anyway, whatever. It's a it's a win. It's a good win. I mean, I can look at the live analysis too, but I mean, in the live analysis, as I think you'll see, like if we go back here, yeah. See, the it's white's not better. The bar just changes right away. So pick up the depth and change your... Oh, there's E4 here? I mean, no, actually the computer is bad. It's, I'm better than the computer. Because you see how the bar keeps changing. The more the more it thinks, the more that it, its evaluation shifts the other way. The game just started? What do you mean? My game didn't just start. What are you talking about? Did it? No, no, it didn't start. Okay, it's, it's fine. No, it didn't start. But anyway, yeah. Um, no, it's a good one, though.
What do I want to play against this? Hmm. Let me take. I'm play e4. Okay, takes. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna play g3, bishop g2. I know it's not right, but I'm just gonna play something slow and classical here. Maybe I go bishop d2 and b4. He wants to go knight d6, I guess. Let's go here and b3. I'm trying to play something very sort of like hyper modern. Maybe hyper modern is the wrong word, but something very slow and, and dry. Maybe queen e2 is better in rook c1. Don't know why I did this, but anyway, I keep going. <clears throat> Probably is going to play knight e4. Try to play something extremely slow. Have I seen the market today crazy? I have seen the market today. Yeah, it looked it looked like it was a pretty green day. Futures were very green before I even woke up, so I knew it was going to be probably a big up day. Let's take and go here, maybe. I think I have f3, maybe, to kick the bishop. Okay, I can still go rook a1, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, he has c5, maybe. But then I take any actual problems on the diagonal. Okay, it goes queen g5. Strange move. Probably still a good move, but a strange move, I feel like. I'm going to go here. Oh, I had a pawn. Ah, oh, that was a free pawn that I just missed. So stupid. Oh, I have f3, f4 coming. So it's actually not that bad. I have f3, f4. Wait a second. Three bishop f5. go here I want to go f3 maybe because if he moves the bishop he gets fossilized he moves the queen I have this and then f3 it's actually it's maybe not so bad yeah but I have bishop d7 and f3 and I think I'm doing well maybe I'm missing something he's got yeah I go here and f3 and what's his next move actually because here I can always just take and come back maybe this is kind of weird I also have f3, e4, too. I can go f3 and e4 also. Maybe I just take and play e5. I feel like I should be much better here, but I'm not seeing it, so I'll just do it. It's f6, knight, e 4 right? Oh, wow, he sacks. Um, I don't know why I did that. Bishop d3 was fine. Now I have to think, though, because I can take and go knight g4. Do I take on d7 or not? As... Wait, but if I take, he has to go here. Then I can... Wait a second. This should be very good. I think... I think I just take and go rook f2. Because I have e4 with the fossil. I think he's missing this idea. Because now when Elshon moves the bishop, I push the pawn... Okay, but he goes here, but I mean, this has to be good for me, right? I just take and take a5. And now he just loses the game. There we go. Good win. Good win. Good win. Six and a half out of seven. Thank you, Dollar Blues, for the three. Pickup truck for the nine. Sandal for the four. Gang culture for the four. Thank you so much to one Ukev for the prime. Emmanuel for the prime. Tartar trades for the tier one. And the newest lunchbox as well for the tier one. Thank you so much. That was a weird one. That was a weird game. Let me let me see what what I was definitely bet I mean it was just maybe slightly worse. Yeah, and I missed bishop a5. Of course bishop takes a5 is just a free juicer. And I go here. Bishop 
Bishop g7 is just good for black? Oh, because computers are so annoyingly good. He just ignores it and goes here. Like, I fossilize him, but then he re-hits my bishop. I mean, that's just sick. Okay. That's just sick. That's really sick. I hate computers. Yeah, like, no human would play this. Ridiculous. Like, no one else would play it. I mean, any human sees this threat, and they're like, okay, I just lose, and the computer's like, ha, 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 I just move my queen out of the way, and I attack your bishop too, and now you're just much worse. As you see, it's like minus 0.5, which is just ridiculous. Okay, so he plays here. Um, so I go here. Here. Play after. Oh, you said the engine? Can I change the engine? Oh, I, no, there's, I only have Stockfish 10. Do they have Stockfish 12? I don't see Stockfish 10. But anyway, whatever. Okay, so he takes, which is a blunder. You can go Bishop D3. And I trade, and I'm slightly better, but it's nothing to write home about, I guess. Here. Yeah, it's not much, not much. Yeah, but he, he should have gone bishop d3. Instead, he blunders, and now... I think he just didn't see bishop d3, or he forgot about e4 and assumed there was some big tactic that was winning the game. Um, and then, yeah, and then the rest is just very clean. Very, very clean. Thank you to Ape Styles Poker for the two months. Thank you so much to Ape Styles for the two months. Thank you Lily, Lily, Lily for the prime. Uh, I assume Ape Styles Poker is probably the Ape Styles from, uh, from the old days on Poker Stars um so hope hope all is well i actually i i heard about ape styles many years ago i think when I, when I was playing a little bit of online i would see him always at like the final tables i mean not not that i was playing but when i was watching i would always see him at, at these final tables and um and i had heard that he played chess so big shout out to ape styles i think the troll just bo boost next for the tier one thing so much appreciate it anyway we're on six and a half out of seven i or no five and a half out of six sorry wrong order um but it's starting to clean clean out. You, you see, like, it's where's Ali Reza? Actually, Ali Reza did Ali Reza lose or something? What happened to him? I don't see him. He won. He won. Wait, where's Ali Reza? I don't see him. In, I don't see him in the list. He's on five and a half too, right? Oh, he's right here. Sorry, for some reason I keep missing him. Yeah. So yeah, it's actually it's thinned out a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of us on five and a half. Siberian elephant is on six out of six. I might actually play him again. It's time. It's time for uh for revenge if I do play him. Um, oh, Ape Styles Poker is not actually the Ape Styles. Okay, my original poker hero. Um, used to watch him on ICM. Yeah, because Ape Styles does play poker, but I thought he was or play chess. I mean, but I thought he was like nineteen hundred at chess. Like very, very, very good at chess. Um. Uh, Revenge of the Soviets, yeah, there always are a lot of Soviets near the top. Um, or, not Soviets, Russians. Um, anyway, thank you to Xriku for the prime. Thank you to Flinny Kangaroo for the four months. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there... Oh, a few others jumped up. Giga Kuparadze, R. Pragnanon, also on six out of six. All right, let's watch Genghis Khan. What's Genghis doing? Genghis is making a draw. He is not going to be victorious in this conquest. <clears throat> Theta Chojo for the prime. Lexi Nate, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pretty good day today. Yeah, 4% plus. Wow. Eric got blown off the board by Dubov. Um, did he? I didn't. I, I didn't look at that. Let's 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 see if we can find that. Um, uh, what's it? Dulles. Wait, what? I can't open this. What just happened? I'm in live chat. Oh, that was weird. Okay, whatever. Very weird. Um. Okay, so what was this game? This was uh, Eric plays the King's Indian. Okay, Dubot plays the C three. This is a Cranmix special, I recall back in the day. Okay. Okay, slightly better for White. Ooh. Eh. I mean, I, I I don't know how this actually does not look good for Black. But probably you should play E six. Try to close the center and hold on. He goes here. 
Oh boy, now the center opens up. Yeah, now the center just collapses. He needs to play e6 here. But already it's a pretty ugly position. Probably has to go e6 here and just admit that he's slightly worse. And it's a game. Instead he doesn't. And then, yeah, and then after d5, um, the bishop is, is closed on the diagonal. And white's bishop has tons of scope. There's nothing in the way. So you just go like here and bishop b6. You can also take the file. One weakness on a5 and that's game over. So yeah, pretty, 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 um, pretty rough game for Eric. Oh, we play Giga again. I lost him in a, in, a, in a title Tuesday a few weeks back. So no nonsense. Um, what am I going to play against him? I'm going to play the Karo Khan. And I actually got into trouble when I played it earlier, but I'll do it again. I'm going to play this one. What do I want to play? Thank you to Hooligan for the 12 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm going to play this. So why am I playing this? I shouldn't be playing this. Okay, let's take and go here. Same thing. Giga likes to play some... I forget which line he likes. Okay, let's castle. I guess I'll go queen c7. Let's go here. Okay, takes. I can take with a pawn. I think I'll take with a pawn. Why not? Just c3. I can always play b5. I think rookie 8 knight f8 knight e6 is supposed to be the traditional way of playing this. Um, I can also trade and go queen c7 maybe. I'm gonna trade and go queen c7. Uh, yeah, because I have knight f8 and bishop bishop uh, bishop e7. Let's go here. Maybe knight d5. Maybe just bishop e6. Maybe a5 a4 is an idea as well. Okay, it goes there. I guess I just go here. Now I target on the d file as well. I'm gonna play a5 maybe a4 to target b3. go here I, I want to put pressure on this diagonal he has no pushes so my, my my scope is good here he's trying to go c4 I guess I don't actually think that's a great idea let's think how I play this though I have to be careful because if I misplay this one wrong step and I could end up much worse so I have to be very careful I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here so he takes I take if b3 I take and he can't recapture okay goes 92 I think I'll just take and go b5 again we have a chain here, the four versus four. It's very dry, very hard to win this, but I should not be in danger of losing because he can, he, can he can never build the chain. The pawns stop him. And my bishop is better than his bishop. Actually, both my bishops probably are better, but it's very mild. Is he trying to go c4? Maybe he is. Am I really worried? Probably not. Uh, rookie eight, he's got b3 then. Let's think about how I want to play this. I can also go b4. No, I think I'm going to go here so that i can play b4 at some moment okay now he goes a3 which actually makes me very happy because now he loses the ability to play in the center of the board okay goes queen d2 not a bad move i can play c5 here queen e6 is a move the problem is it's actually very hard to win okay, let's go here okay, i'm gonna trade i don't know if i can win this but i have a diagonal towards his pawns Okay, let's go let's go wait i have bishop c1 here wait a second i i feel like i have some stuff let's go here first let's go here and now he has to worry because now there are actual problems for white because he doesn't have c4 or does he no because i take and i take with the queen i'm starting to outplay him here quite significantly i just have to be very smart about how i play this if i can fling an h4 in here somewhere i'm probably winning let's go no that's not right okay let's go Let's tickle him with this. I right, gave him bishop d3. Not smart. Not smart at all. Okay, let's just go back. Let's reset it. Because he basically he has to worry about this diagonal at all times. So I'm just going to improve my king here. No f4 or f3 is because of check. I'm down on time, but I'm doing I'm doing okay because the position is very simplified. Does nothing. I can play f5. I, don't, I think I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna see if he wants to go f4 because then I have check. Actually, he can't do it. He has h4, but then I drop back. And I feel like this is a weakness. Long okay. Let's go here. 
Let's go. Um, I don't want to go bishop c4, do I? Probably not. Let's think about how I want to do this. This is a problem. Okay. Let's go. So hard to win. Just need to chill out, take a deep breath, play a 5f4 at the right moment. Okay, queen f1. Now I think I can go here and bishop d5 maybe. If he goes there, wait, that's a blunder, I think, because now I can go in, maybe. Um, no, let's just trade. Let's just trade and keep it simple here. So the queen, of course. Not easy to win this, but I, I feel like, I mean, I'm, I'm down on time, but I'm doing okay in the position. Again, he has to worry about this diagonal at all times. Let's just go up. Goes F3. Wait, now I'm going to go in for it. Let's go here. I'm trying to get this bishop in, basically. Okay, now he goes up four. Now I'll come back. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroute my bishop if I can. Let's go here, I guess, hit the pawn, because I can just take. He goes there. I'll go back. I gave him a five. Stupid move. Very stupid by me. Now I'm probably not going to win the game. I can probably trade here. I'm going to trade and try to win this. I don't know if this is winning. Well, let's try. Because all his pawns are stuck on the queen side. So this might be a draw, but I can create outside pawns here. My king has a free path because of the structure. Maybe bishop e7 was better, actually. I don't know. But we'll see. King e3. There, 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 there. There. Their G before. I think I'm winning here. I think this is winning. I think this is winning. We'll see. It's King e4, King b3. F5 takes, 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 takes. There, b4 takes, takes, takes. A3, there, a2, h5. He loses by like multiple tempos here. Yeah, I think this is just winning. Be check, so I take. But I mean, can't I just wait? Take six here, h4, e, h4, g6, h5. King e3, king f5 here, then takes. I mean, this must just be winning. And king f5. Yeah, this is just winning. The structure is why I win the game, by the way, you guys. That's why I push these pawns early in the middle game. Thank you to Toby Man as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to Toby Man for the Prime. Thank you to Kavivak. Thank you to Call Heaps for the Prime. And there we go. Nice win. Nice win. Good revenge for that ridiculous game that I lost a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we get to 6.5 out of 7, and we keep rolling. Okay, so Jan drew his game as well. Um, yeah. Why was that 5 so bad? Because it got his bishop in the game. So, like, the thing is that we do... Let me go to the live analysis. Um... Yeah, so the thing is, like, it was it was very good when we got the structure because even though he has the four versus three on the queen side, he doesn't have any breaks. Like, my pawns are held by the bishop, which holds the base. So he, he never can start ro using this 4v3 to his advantage here. And my bishop has a really great diagonal. So how did I misplay this? Oh, I was supposed to go f5 and f6, apparently. Just f5? Really? Yeah, and, and because the computers are better than humans, they're like, okay, nobody cares that you weakened your king. You're just much better. Okay, interesting. Anyway, I misplayed this. So we keep going. Oh, and this is really still winning, Queen E6? Oh, because the bishop gets in behind. Oh, this is actually just winning. I'm so bad at chess. I should have seen this. I should have seen Queen E6 here. Because the point is my bishop can get in behind and eat all the pawns on the dark square. So he has to block, and I, then he blocks, and I just gambit a juicer. And after takes, 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 bishop c1, he can't save everything. He's just going to lose two or three. Oh, that's terrible. That's so bad. Anyway, I go here. We keep going. And yeah, now I allowed f5, which is just... Maybe I should just take here, take another tower of power. But I don't know. It's hard to believe that I can be winning anymore. 
because I have no bishop. Now, now his bishop is good, and my bishop is in a box. So his bishop is better than my bishop here. And then we just go, and then yeah, now he now he plays this, which is a big mistake, right? And it's losing because even though the same color bishops, look at the white pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six pawns are all on black, and I have one, two, three, four, five that are on white. So his bishop can't touch my pawns. Um, okay, we're gonna play Siberian elephant. I'm gonna play e4 again, I think. Or do I want to play it slow? No, let's play aggressive here. Again, key is to be state. Oh, oh, he won. Okay, he plays c5. Let's think about this. What do I want to play? I'll play. I'll play. I'll play open Sicilian. Why not? Actually, no. Let's play. Let's play the Alpin. Although last time I did this against him, I got a bad position. So I don't know why I'm doing this. This is not what I should be playing against him. I shouldn't be playing this. This is a dubious line in a situation where dubious lines are not really what I should be playing for. But whatever. This is a bad opening choice against him in this situation. If it was early in the event, it's probably reasonable. But this late in the, situ the tournament, probably not the right choice, especially down half a point. And this is exactly why what I did is not right. Okay, let's just go for it, though. Let's play rookie one. Let's see. I mean, I had bishop a4 there, too. Okay, plays g5. Yeah, this is actually a problem, I think. Um... This might be a real problem. Maybe I just play. I'm gonna play h3. I'll play h5, I guess. I'm gonna go here. Go to g4. I'm gonna play knight h2, and then maybe take. Okay, I guess I go here. He, can, I mean, he can take, but then, what's going on here exactly? If I take, I can also play g3. It's gonna be weird. I'm gonna take and go g3. Probably this is terrible for me. Like I said, wrong opening choice for this situation. Very much the wrong opening choice. But it might it might get messy. I have chances still. It's not the right opening choice though. The good thing is he can't really checkmate me on the di on the diagonal because I, I, I sort of his pawns are a little bit stuck here. The double stack is not great. It's also why I should trade it because this g5 never works if I trade it one set early. Anyway, it's going to be an interesting game, though. He's using a lot of time, too. So I can play f4 here. I think I have to, actually. I just have to guard the pawn chain. It's a very weird position. I don't know what to make of it. It's probably really good for black. Computer probably laughs at us and says, like, it's minus two or something, undoubtedly. But as a human, it doesn't look obvious to me. Right. I can play queen f3. I can also just go d3, maybe. I can also play no 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 not c4 maybe d3 is a move i think knight b6 is not the best move. i feel like he probably had something better so i need to figure out what exactly i'm playing for maybe I just go d3 knight f3 yeah i think i'm just gonna go d3 knight f3 basically oh i should not have done i should have played queen f3 first i think well maybe not it's, it's very unclear because his bishops are not great here and my king is oddly safe with the pawn chain in front of it. Goes f6, interesting move. So now I can take, actually, I think f6 might be a very big mistake, potentially. If I go c4, wait, this can't be right. I feel like he misplayed this. Do I go c4 or do I take? Let me think. Bishop g5. I think I'm going to play c4 and keep the, keep the structure closed. Because now his bishop is very bad. So basically, he has to win here in the middle of the board, like right away. If he doesn't win in the middle of the board, and I get to develop my pieces. He's probably positionally lost because of these double pawns and the lack of scope with his light square bishop. Which is also why what I did is I did not trade the pawns because I thought he might play e5 and activate this bishop. So that's why I, that's why I went for this. And if h4, I have queen g4. So if 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 he doesn't have a way to win this pawn right away. I think I go here. I've got to develop, of course. If h4 or queen g4 looks good. Okay, now we go. Yeah, I think I'm so I'm very close to being much better here, actually. Let's go knight d2. Let's go knight f3 and knight e4. Hmm. 
Plays rook f8. Okay. I mean, this looks great for me, but I just have to be careful with how I play this. Okay, let's go here in knight d6. I have knight c5. Maybe I just go king h2 or rook f1. Let's think. Not sure this is right, but I'm going to play it. Oh, he's also got no time, I just realized. Okay, now this must be winning somehow. Well, the only problem is my king. That's my only problem here is that my king is a little bit open. I go knight d6, I can also just take. Queen f7, knight d4, bishop f4. Let's just go for it. I actually, this is probably wrong. He's got... I don't know if that was right. Because now he's going to get bishop f4. Okay, let's go here. And he's got this. I can take. Let's go king h1. I'm threatening to take. Okay, I go here. Oh, no, I just blundered. Oh, no, I just blundered. Or wait, did I? I just blundered. He's got queen g2. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, my gosh. I just blundered so hard. I can go here, though. I just blundered h2. What am I doing? I was winning this so cleanly. Oh, my gosh. I just flubbed this. Second time in a week that I've done this against him where I flubbed it. How did I, how did I flub this? I literally don't take c5 and I'm positionally winning. This is two wins in a row where I've literally thrown it for no reason in a winning position. Oh my gosh. That's two times in a row that I've done this now. This is this is actually really upsetting. This was like plus three around here. Why did I not just go like rook f1 and queen e2? Inexplicable again. Oh my gosh. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like teary eyed or anything. I'm just frustrated because this is two times I've been completely winning. This one was, this one I can live with more so because it's not like I had a clean win in this or anything, but yeah, it's just losing anyway. Yeah. This was just winning for me after he missed it, messed it up in the opening. Oh, it's frustrating. It's two times now that I've thrown winning positions. This one's not as bad as the other one um, because the other one I could have traded Queens. But this was just, what did I do here? Knight h4. Yeah, if I go if I go rook f1 and I just consolidate the position, I have to be better because it's a bad bishop. But I did this. And then I just traded, which was also insane. But it's already probably bad. Because if queen e1, rook g, yeah, it's... Okay, computer gives play, but already it's not what I wanted. This is frustrating. This is two times now that I've been winning. But what did I do wrong here? There should have been a better way to play this. It's twice now that I've thrown a win against him. Knight h4, bishop f4, takes knight g6. Hard to play as a human. Hard to play knight h4. No, Siberia is uh, Artemia, but it's already lost. Yeah, it's already just lost here. Just forgot that he had rook g8 and he could sack the queen. I thought I could go rook g1, but he just sacks the queen. Oh, that's so upsetting. Knight g5 was plus three when he played h4. Here. Oh, this, yeah, this is winning. <sighs> yeah, this actually makes sense that it's winning because if takes, you hit the pawn on e6. But still, like, it's not, it's not trivial. Yeah, why didn't I play rook g1? No, I mean, I just, I knew here that I shouldn't take the pawn. I don't know why, but I just, it's, it felt wrong, but I thought, okay, he probably doesn't have a way to win on the spot or anything that's really complicated. And I should have used more time because he's already low on time. And this is where I should use 20, 30 seconds and played like queen e2 and rook f1 and rook g1. And I mean, it's not easy to win. Although maybe it's actually, ah, oh, no, because he has bishop e3. Not so clear. But yeah, I just misplayed this. And I probably should have still gone for this. Although, I, I mean, this is already not what I wanted. Queen g4. Queen f3, queen f3. Queen g4, take 6, rook f g8, queen f3. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I'll play on because no reason not to. Um, because, I mean, if I don't play on, there's no one who's going to... Everyone's playing the tournament, so there's no point playing blitz. But 
This one was different. The previous, I mean, the previous one I should have won. That one was like I win that 99 out of 100 times, and then I randomly threw it. This one was better, but it wasn't like there was a forced, like, instant win where he has no play. So while I'm unhappy, it's not as bad because there was always some little bit of counterplay. So it's not like where I play this move. I just win 100% of the time. Um, although I should not have played this opening. It was, the wrong, it was the wrong time to play this opening. It was just, I mean, this opening is dubious. And to do this in a title Tuesday, this late in the event against someone who's like 3,100 was not right. I mean, the opening was a big, big mistake. Um, happens, whatever. Frustrating. But also, also what I could have done was I could have played... Um, I should have also just like traded as well. Because if I trade and we reach this position, G5 is not as good. Because now that we've traded, I can do like this, 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 and takes. But because I did it the other way... Um, but if I because I did it the other way with Castles Knight Six Rookie One, now G five works because if I take he has this, and if I go here he just goes here because I haven't traded. So when we trade, I can't take because we have two pawns here. No, the other one was ridiculous. The other one was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I I, I win that ninety nine out of hundred. This one, this one there was counterplay, so it's not that big of a deal. C three is what you put in. I didn't want to play an open Sicilian. I don't know why I did it, but again, it was just it was the wrong opening choice. Uh, I can't win the tournament, but I can probably, I mean, wait, it didn't update, but I can still probably get to like third or fourth. Every loss is a chance to grow and get better. I mean, I'm not that upset because if this was a slow game, I would have won it. Um, and so in, in general terms, it, it, you know, it's, I got the winning position. I just didn't convert it. it you know, if, if you get, if you get outplayed, I think those are the ones where you're, it's much easier to be like, it's like you really can gain motivation, but the ones where you're just winning and then you throw it, it's like. Those games are never really as bad because it's like, okay, well, I got the winning position and then I just like lost my mind for no reason. Um, but yeah, queen d4 instead of knight d4. Oh, of course he's talented. Um, but yeah, I really should have won this game though. Yeah, why did I go? I guess knight d4 is no good. Um, I guess yeah, he's bishop e5, right? So I don't have time. Yeah, but I mean, knight g5, maybe I should have seen it. But the problem was at this point, I actually was starting to think about it from, in the standpoint of I, 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 I positionally I'm winning, so let's try to keep it clean and positionally stable and just win without counterplay instead of realizing that what I have to do is just 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 like basically uh, just play aggressively and not just try to get the nice positional masterpiece. Because I was trying to get the positional masterpiece with the bad bishop and the bad knight instead of focusing on what works. Um, Grandmaster title doesn't, doesn't, um, youngest age, it's, I, there's prestige because you're in the record books, but it doesn't make that, that big of a deal overall. Anyway, I'm gonna take another break and I'll be right back, you guys. I guess I'll play Karo Khan. I don't really know what to play when I want to win, but I guess I'll play Karo Khan. Play this one. I'm gonna do something that goes for more dubious, dubious paths here. Let's do this and this. A little bit, um, he goes there. Okay, so I guess I play E6. I don't... Who is this? Who is Dooku? I have no idea. Who is this? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I think I played this guy, right? Let's go here on Bishop H7. I think I played this dude. Yeah. I think I played him in uh, Gibraltar a couple years back, if I'm not mistaken. But what? Wait, but why isn't he a GM then? Wait, what is his name? David Gavrilescu? What's his name? Oh, yeah. I played this guy in Gibraltar. Why isn't he a GM? This guy should already be a GM. Why isn't he a GM? Thank you to Wasn Boots for the tier one. Thank you, Squawkamot. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Now I can play Queen C7. I can also wait. Can I go F6 and trap the trap his knight? No, I mean he when I played him in Gibraltar, he was very good. Like he played really good chess. No, no, I played him in Gibraltar, but I mean like he he should be a GM. I beat him, but it was a very tough game. It was like first like 25 moves were very it was very even. He made a slight blunder, I think. Um he made a, he made a slight blunder, but it was very very um, but it was but it was very very he played very well, so I don't know why he's not a G, although again nobody could play last year, so I guess that probably sums it up. But he should be a GM. Should be a GM traps tonight. Okay, very funny, you guys. <laughs> now I can take the knight if I take this one. What's the move? Knight c four. I don't really see it, so I'm gonna take because here I just take takes knight d seven. 
I think I'm also playing too fast in general in these three because these are three plus one, not three zero games. Like against like like against our time, I definitely at that moment when he that moment I was up like a minute and a half. I should I, I should have not I was treating it too much like three oh and just trying to play good quick moves and sort of put pressure on the clock instead of just just finding the best move there. And even this game, I probably should have used more than three seconds to take because there was a knight c4 trick. Um now so like here, let's take a deep breath and relax. Okay, rook b8, knight c7, king here, queen c6, b6, queen c4, knight e5. I think this is good. Let's go here. Go here. Queen c6, and now I just win. Okay, this will be a nice, clean, quick one at least. I think you did a debt potter for the four months. Thank you so much debt potter. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I can... Okay, again, I have all the time in the world, and if I find the right move, I just win 100% of the time. So let's just go check, and then check, and write triangle, basically, and then collect the queen. Because so he can't block, I take. He resigns. Okay, nice, nice quick win, at least. That's good. Okay, let's watch a let's watch Ali Reza's game. Ali Reza, meanwhile, is getting smoked by Artemiev here. Jeez, knight d4, oh, knight f5. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Pawn takes pawn. This is bad. Also, this is very fast, isn't it? Like this is pretty ugly. Yeah, I mean, th this game is very, very unclear. He's played well, though. He has been playing well. Um, does Ali Reza have a higher rating than I did at his age? Of course he does. Um, I think Ali Reza's rating is probably second highest at 17 after Magnus. Um, D1, maybe ninety six. Okay. I mean, white is much better here, but it's not. it's not easy to play. Stop watching this. Oh, should I watch Jan's game? Okay, I'll watch Jan's game instead. Uh, Jan's game is... One, two, three, four. Jan should be winning here, I guess. Whoa, but Queenie won? Or wait, did Jan just blunder? Jan might not be winning anymore. I think Jan was winning. Let me see. Jan's game, he is still winning. Okay, but let's go back to the other one. Have knight g4, queen g7. Actually, only two moves happened in that time, so um, nothing special. Okay. Okay, knight c6. Yeah, Ali Rez is in bad shape here because his knights are kind of clumsy in the middle. He's losing. He's just losing. I'll turn on the lines again so you guys see it. But yeah, he's losing. They need to save us for the two months. They need a major pain for the two months. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think he just... Knight c4. Yeah, this is a rough game for Ali Rez. What was this opening? Looks like a pretty clean game from Artemiev, actually. Like, very, very clean. Looks very clean. And, yeah, I assume Artemiev finds knight c4 and then, like, knight a5 or something. Here in me, rookie one. Meltwater Champions Tour seems to be loaded this time. Thoughts? I actually, when I looked at the field, it didn't look any different than the other events. I mean, there was no, no Fabiano, no Ding Loren, who I thought were two of the very like the serious who are, I mean, objectively the second and third best players in the world. So it didn't actually look any more stacked than usual. Okay. White's up what? Two pawns here. Yeah. Artemiev's on his way. Artemiev is not that young. No, Artemiev is like 23, I think, or 20, 23, 24. I'm not sure exactly. He's not, he's not anywhere near as young um, as, as Ali Reza. He is, yeah, he's 23. Yeah. 20, actually he just turned 23. There's 90. Oof. Yeah, this is lights out. Ali Rez is going to lose here. Brutal. 98. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, 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 oy. Rough, rough. It's about rough, rough game for, for Ali Reza. Why does, why does Fabiano never play? I mean, he hasn't played on the Chess 24 events either. I think it's for Fabiano. He just doesn't enjoy it. And I think Fabiano, actually, he really wants to focus on the candidates. Yeah, Ali Reza offered a draw. That was a, that was a good cheeky draw offer. 
Actually, maybe, you know, for me, it's probably better if, if, if he just wins every game here because he, he can take people out of the mix here. Like, he can take some of these dudes out of the mix. Um, so maybe it's actually better if he just keeps winning. Let's watch what's going on here. This game, King F8, King E7. Who is Zhu? I feel like I've seen this username. Who is this? Oh, it's this dude, S Sidipiov. Okay, I know who he is. So King E8. Oh, is there a check? There's check and knight of five ninety five. Oh my gosh, there's checkmate in two. Queen g eight here. Check takes ninety five with checkmate. What is he on doing? That was just checkmate in. Wait, I'm not crazy. I'm not, let me turn on the lines. I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, mate in three. It was just mate in three. Man, this might be a draw. I mean, Jan's gonna try to win, I guess. But check and queen d two. I guess queen a5, king e8. Whoa, whoa. This is getting very dangerous for Jan now. There's like... Knight c2. King e8. I think this is going to be a draw. Jan's going to have to make a repetition here. Yeah, that was just a clean mate in three. Here, and then I guess Jan will go king b3, but... This is so scary. But now uh, Jan might lose now. <laughs> Sean just let the king run out here. Like, 93, I mean, this is very scary for, for white. Okay, Jan's just going to force queens off. Queen c1. Okay, king d8. Queen c1, I guess. There, wait, what? 95? King e7. Knight c6. Queen b4, queen c5. Queen c5. Knight d8. I think this is going to be a draw. You're just going to... Why did he do... What on earth was this? Insane game. I don't really understand. It's still a draw, by the way, because king a5. Oh, knight c6 also. You can just sack here. You can sack everything. Just sack and take. Okay, now you take. And king a5. And knight d4. And this, this will be a draw. Draw is actually very good for me here, I think. Knight c6. Yeah, takes and draw. Wow. No, this is insane. This was just a, this was just an easy checkmate. It was a mate in three. I'm just I'm kind of appalled. Yeah, like right here, you just go check, here, check, and mate. King has no square. It's just very clean checkmate. I mean it's just a, it's like a force mate. If you go here, it's mate here. It's just a force checkmate. That's weird. The R1 B3 and four for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's very weird. Yeah, I uh, I played Sadipov not in the world. Uh, yeah, I played him in the in the World Cup in 2018 in Russia. And at the time, this guy Zhu, his FIDE run was like 2500, but he was an FM. And I played him. He played really well. I drew him. He beat he beat Nepo actually in that event. He beat Nepo. He beat uh. I, did he draw Vichy? I think he beat Nepo. He drew me and he drew Vichy in that event. It was like it was like it was very impressive. So I'm not shocked at all that he has the GM title now. Because he should have been a GM even at the time. Yeah, he was he was a FIDE master. I mean, there, there are quite a few of these Russian guys who are like, they have like a 2,500 FIDE and they're like FM. They're, and that's why when you play the World Rapid and Blitz, you see you see them and it's just like, it's 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 ridiculous that they're FM. Thank you, Cash It Up for the Prime. Ultra Twitch for the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, what are the standings? What am I? Let's see the standings. I mean, there are only four guys on eight, so I could, if I went out, get second. Let's play e4 here. But yeah, he was, I mean, he was just like classic 25, 2500 or 2600 Russian FM out of nowhere. Am I going to, you know what, just for the memes, I'm going to do it again, even though I shouldn't be doing it. I'm going to do it for the memes and play more Alipins. Thank you to Umar for the prime. Okay, let's do this one and this one, I guess.
Let's go here, and I think knight a3 is the line I'm going to play. Is bishop f5 a move here? I thought bishop e6 was a move. Okay, let's go d4. Huh. Let's go here. I want knight b5. I guess I go bishop e3. Numa, numa, yay. Let's go here. I guess I just take. I have queen e2. Thank you to Dancher for the prime. Thank you so much to Dancher. Appreciate it. Thank you. So hopefully Sib Elephant, who's he playing? He's playing Yan. Hopefully, um, hopefully he beats uh he beats Yan. Because if he beats Yan, then that gives me very good chances to maybe squeak into second. Because that takes one of the people ahead of me out of play. I really do like my position here. I've got a great wooden shield on d4. And he can't even develop because he loses the pawn or not. <sighs> Maybe queen f... Actually, wait. What about queen f3 here? This looks dubious somehow. Wait a second. So if I take, he takes... g8, bishop d4, bishop a3 takes. That, oh, he's got bishop h3 or something? Wait a second. Bishop h3, really. So he has tricks. So maybe I just go queen f3 then. Yeah, let's go here and hit the pawn. And queen c7, maybe I have queen g3. I think this is the line. Let's go here. Because he has problems defending everything. I just take and now he's going to lose the pawn. He can take, obviously, but I just take. And I, he can't actually save a pawn. And now I close this, there's no longer a threat. Because I, I basically took the pawn and stacked it in front of my other pawn. And so now he's going to lose this pawn. Not guaranteed that I'll win this, but um, but I, I'm definitely I'm better. And this is all you can really ask for. Okay, so he goes there. So, I, I mean, obviously, I just take and come back. Oh, he actually goes h5, he wants h4. He doesn't even take on a3, which is kind of interesting. Looks dubious. Let's go here. Knight e3, maybe. See if he wants some weird stuff over here, I guess. Now, this one, if I mess this up, I will be very upset because this one, the queens are off the board. There should be very limited counterplay for my opponent. The only thing I'm lacking is my bishop, which is not well placed. He's going to, he wants to go knight c5, which makes a lot of sense. How do I play against his question? I can play rook d1 and bishop e5, maybe? Don't love it, but I think it's it seems pretty reasonable. Maybe I have knight e3. Maybe I just go bishop e5. That's my idea is to go for a checkmate, like here and here, just to cut the king. He goes bishop e4. He wants h4 badly now. I can I can sense it. So I go knight b6. I have f3. I don't love it. Okay, let's see. F3 is a move here. It's not a great move. I'm definitely better, but I need to focus. All right, let's just trade. I'm up a pawn here. Even if it's a double stack in the end game, it, it will play. So I want to trade off knights. Goes h4, so I can actually trade the rooks even. Okay, how do I win this though? This is actually a little, I'm making a little bit of a mess out of this now. Maybe I just go f3, then bishop c5. This, hmm. Do I take and play f3? No, I don't, I think I go Let's do it. I don't. Doesn't feel right somehow. I feel like I've misplayed this a little bit. Bishop d4. Okay, he he actually ignores it now. After, oh, but g4 is h3 still. Wait, not so clear. Again, I feel like I've misplayed this. <sighs> Rook takes d8. Bishop d8. 
How did I misplay this? He's just got h3 and it's tricky. Unbelievable. Maybe I go here and take. C5. D8, rook D8. I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm actually moving way too slowly, I just realized. But I go here and I block. Oh, I just blundered again. Jeez, what is with me today? I'm just blundering for no reason. Just blunder something ridiculously obvious. Insane, completely insane what I'm doing. Not focusing. I said I'd be very mad if I messed this up, and sure enough, I found a way to give him a little bit of counterplay. What was that? Right here? Why did he... I kind of hung there for a second. I don't want to take with the pawn. I got to move, though. Go here. I've got to move it. Why am I moving so slowly? Got to move, got to move. What am I doing? I gotta move. Yeah, I just, I totally threw this one too. Not my day, just not my day. Honestly, not my day. Just not my day. But at least it's not, it's not, it's not gonna matter for like winning. But again, second time that I've thrown a game this time I did the opposite, though. And, and yeah, I did the opposite this time. G4 was winning, but G4... No, I mean, I don't know why I did this. Like, the whole point was that in this position, I can't I can't lose if I, if I played G4. Like, I just gave him this ridiculous counterplay, which was just ridiculous for no reason. G4, H3... Oh, I can even just take. Okay, this... Yeah, it's really not my day. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really not my day because after H3, I didn't even see that I could just take, actually. I only saw that he could take on G2. I only saw like that I play something like this and he can take. I literally didn't. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. It's just not my day. I didn't actually see that I could just take the pawn. That's really bad. That's really, that's really bad. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Just one of those days. Um, I think Quantaren for the prime. No, I mean, I'm this, it's clearly not my day because this, this one was, uh, was actually a lot worse. I just didn't even see I could take the pawn. That's unbelievable. How did I not see that? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this one was not the opening though, because I actually got a winning position out of the opening in this game. So this was not about the opening. I just, I mean, I just lost my mind. Wow. How did I not see G takes H3? That's insane. That's literally insane. I, no, no, I can't get first place, but like, I, I literally didn't see that I could take the pawn. That's unreal. That's unbelievable. How did I really not see that I could just take? That's insane. Hmm. Yeah. No, no, I mean I'm I'm not that upset. Like like I said, if if, if I was on something like eight out of eight or nine out of nine, I would be much more upset. But the turn I already was not gonna win this event. It's still just bizarre though. It's really bizarre. I literally did not see that I could just take the pawn. How did I not see that? That's insane. Why did I draw with rook takes f5 where there's a rook takes f5 draw? Which move? Which move? Where is there a rook, ta rook takes f5 was a draw? Rook takes f5 was a draw? What move? Oh my gosh, this is a draw. Oh my gosh, I can just check him. Oh, you guys are right. I can just check check. Oh, that's even worse. 
I didn't even see that. That's so bad. Yeah, I just take and I just check, check. I actually didn't even see that. All right, let's play the King's Gambit. The tournament doesn't matter. Might as well have fun. Let's go here. Yeah, let's go check. Actually, that was that was pretty poor that I didn't see that. That was really poor. Okay, let's go D4. I'm play this old C3 line. It's not, this is actually very bad for white. Those of you guys who are using engines will see that the computer already says it's like minus 0.6 or something. Um, but I want to have fun. It's the last game. There's nothing on the line. Might as well play the King's Gambit for the memes. Yeah, and he plays bishop c7, which is actually a good move. I'm going to knight c4. Actually, let's just go here and take, maybe. I mean, maybe it's knight d5. Well, I did have knight c5. Who is this? Oh, this is Matt Lakov. Okay, this is actually also someone who's very, very strong. Although that looks... Maybe I take with a pawn. I'm going to take with a pawn here because now I close the center of the board and I can put the bishop on e4 and play a king h1 and rook g1 here. I don't know if this is right, but I feel like maybe I can use a g file. Maybe I can use the bishops long term. I mean, this is obviously terrible for me, but we'll see. Thank you to draft this for the two. Thank you to salt Semmerish for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can't believe that. I literally did not see G takes H3 in that game. I literally can't believe... I can't believe that I literally did not see G takes H3. That's unbelievable. Okay, it goes knight D8. Okay, let's focus. I think I play bishop... I can throw in a tickle check. Do I want to kick the king further away from the center? I mean, he might actually go to F8. It might have no... Uh, whatever, let's just do it. Let's target the pawn. Okay, I think I'm just going to go like here and play like rookie one and king h1. I'm not actually sure if I, this is bad for me. I feel like maybe this is good for me. So I have a four versus two. If I can start running these bad boys up the center, like c4 and bishop. Well, uh, let's just start rolling them anyway. Let's go here. I think I'm just going to start rolling them. I have four connected. Let's just go for it. I mean, I have four connected pawns, although I think this might be a mistake. He's maybe has some takes. Maybe I go here at some moment. I mean, I have a four versus two in the center, and he's got like four versus two over here. I can also get a wall of pawns if I take with a pawn. Do I take with a pawn or not? No, let's just take. Okay, so I have the pawn wall. So if I take, wait, what? Are... Oh, you guys, queen d6 maybe. Hmm. Can play rook g1. I think I just take those. Has to be right. Unless I'm blundering something, which could also be entirely possible. Well, the wall is good though. The 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 wall is strong. Okay, now he... Oh, he's got this, too? Aha, uh -huh, he has tricks. I actually didn't realize he had this. Hmm, not obvious why I'm winning. Hmm. Rook g1? Queen h7 or something? Queen h7. Okay, let's go... Let's go here to hit the queen. I think I'm just going to start... Let's roll the pawns. So when he plays rookie four. Oh, I thought I had bishop e5. Oh, it doesn't even. <sighs> Why did I do that? I thought I had bishop e5 and takes. I just blundered again for no reason. Literally just made a huge blunder. Okay, let's go. Wow, oh, this was ridiculous. I just threw again. What am I even doing? Insane. Okay, let's go. 
Let's go here. It's still past pawns. I mean, can I go? Wait, wait, wait. Can I go d5 now? He can't. He blunt, queen f5 was actually a big blunder. He thought he could get the queen and, and just checkmate me, fossilize me. But now I, I take the square, and my pawns are really just rolling up the center here. Queen f5 was a big mistake. But it's still not over, as I've learned already. I can go rook f1. I can go d6. I can also just go, wait, c6, h. What's going on? Let's go c6. Um, go here. I'm, I mean, I have c7 here. I can also trade. I'm so close to winning here. This pawn is so close to the end of the board. And he doesn't have any checks. Should be winning. Should be winning, but we'll see what he does. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to lose here. Okay, I can play C. Oh, oh, he's trying to get tricky. Okay, so I take. Takes with a rook. I do have rook F1, but then queen G4, but then H3 maybe? Well, let's go here. Rook F4, I can just trade. I mean, I just have too many pawns. Now I hit the queen, and it's just too little. Gonna get the dub. Not 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 a great game, but it's a win. I guess kind of makes it for the previous loss, kind of. But yeah, not a good not a good result. But this one I definitely should have lost. Wonder what what he did what he did wrong. Probably his big mistake was trading. I'm guessing. Like this, is, yeah. Probably his big mistake was trading, right? Or was this already not so clear? He goes here here. Yeah, and he he takes. And yeah, that was his mistake. He never should have traded the bishop because then I get this bishop, this wooden shield that's supported by the pawn on f3, and it's really good for white. Oh, and I even have bishop e7 here? Wow. Wow. And there's an ice skater. Because if I take the pawn and he takes back... He can't take because then I then there's no no king move. Hmm. Should have I actually probably should have seen that. Anyway, I didn't see it. Not great. And then I go here. Oh, this is actually correct. Wait, this was correct. Wow, c5 is actually the right move. Hmm. Okay, so maybe this game was not as bad as I thought it was. The the wall of pawns, yeah. It's it's a wall of pawns. It's not great, but it's something. I'm gonna play some blitz. I'm, I mean, I just wanna I just wanna play play some blitz. Let's watch Ali Reza's game. I think I'll challenge him after this. Ali Reza's making a draw. Check and rook g one. This will be a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Oh wait, what happened to what happened to Artemiev? Oh no, Artemiev did win. Okay, I, was, I, I didn't see his name for a second. Um, thank you, Jadikus, for the uh, three dollars. Thanks so much, Jadikus. Oh, Artemiev lost to Jan. Oh, that's oh he lost to Jan. I didn't realize that. I think it was showdown for the five dollar for the six. I don't know. I might upload this to YouTube. It wasn't that bad. I mean, the, the game the game against Artemiev was not bad. The, the game the game against um the game against against um. Who was it against? Against the Farley was bad. That was really bad. But the game, the game, the game against Artemia was not bad. I mean, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a big deal. I missed some stuff where I was winning, but it was like a move here or move there. The the other one I should have um the the other game against Artemia of last week that was inexcusable. But this one was not not the end of the world.